Welcome to the Borderline Too Much Fun podcast. My name is Josh. I am the lead web designer, amongst other things here at KZoom. And this is Nora. Nora is our lead graphic designer and um, does an excellent job on clients' projects. Today, what we're going to be looking at is the answering the question, do legitimate companies need websites? Or do people expect them to have websites? Mm-hmm. Yeah, So, which is a good question. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's a lot of companies that might think that they don't need a website. We're going to explore Absolutely. explore maybe why they do. So, yeah. yeah. So, Josh, um, what would not having a website in 2024, what is that similar to? I would say <clears throat> not having a website in 2024 is like having a billboard without a message. Yeah, that's a good good way to say it. Mm-hmm. Just like a big blank blank screen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like you could even have a thriving business, but if you don't have a a website, um, it kind of loses the legitimacy. Or right. There's no. There's like nothing to form people. Someone's idea of who you are, if you're not giving or pushing those cues or clues out. Yes. To like you're projecting them. Yeah. You know, that, like marketing. Right. Them, obviously. Yeah. I feel like mm-hmm. another good example would be like. If you are starting a food truck business and you hire a chef, you get all the food supplies, everything like that, um, and then you don't have a food truck. Like you have all of the ingredients, but you don't have a spot where people can come meet you. And sometimes, you know, websites are useful for even ordering stuff. So, yeah, um, absolutely. It's like, you don't have the meeting place that yes. it all comes together. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Impulsive. It's kind of like like you have a business model and you have everything in place. You have products to sell, but you have let's say no storefront or you right. have no you know, no you don't you don't do any marketing at all whatsoever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kind of similar to a, a business not having like a building like that you actually can walk into or Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think so. So, um People might ask, how does my website legitimize my business or even does it legitimize my business? What would you say to people yeah. like that? I think it absolutely legitimizes you. Mm-hmm. I think that it creates a cool, comfortable space for people to come. Well, it's, it's similar to creating like a physical space for people to come and, um, you know, experience your product or experience, you know, how you work or your services that you that you give off yeah. um, or that you that you do. Um and it kind of creates that feeling that that um, that you can trust. It's like a trustworthy thing too. People are looking to right. trust you, and um, you know by projecting um, you know your services and you know your your mission statement, everything about you on a website. It just it just builds. It, it's what we all expect. Right. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. so true. It, if you walked into a boutique and it looked really unprofessional or just kind of sloppy or not put together, then that wouldn't be a very trust building experience right. with with that customer. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously we live in a digital age and everyone's on online. So yeah. you know, there's almost, there's no reason not to. And there's, yeah, it's, you have to have one. Right. That's so, so. true. Really good. Um, hang on. Let me read where we are. Um, how are you? Google. Okay. So as we're talking about people living online and being digital, um, Practically, how often do people Google a company before they actually interact with a business or yeah. um, give that business their sales? Yeah. A lot of estimates nowadays uh, indicate like seven to ten touches on oh, wow. online. And that could be – that might be a website, but it might be things like social media. It might be things like your you know, your e-commerce store. Like whatever web presence you have, people yeah. are – you know, and, and the other thing to note is those seven to ten touches are oftentimes very spread out. It could be over like weeks, months, even years, hmm. and they're they're kind of watching. And let's say they maybe they don't have the money right now to, to purchase your product or to you know um, buy buy your service, um, but they're you know they might vibe with just like who you are generally, right? And just follow along. Oh, these or, people are cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think too, sometimes brands sit subconsciously in the back of our heads, and mm-hmm. we don't like we don't think about them often. But, you know, we see like a quick, you know, digital ad or, we, you know, we're online and we see, um, you know, maybe they're, sell- they're cross-selling their product on Amazon. We see it and we immediately go, oh, I know that brand. You know, right. I've, I've like, I visited their website. It blew me away. But mm-hmm. that was two years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's the, the, there's such an importance of the consistency of your brand presence across all channels um, and just being out there t- so you're relevant. Yeah, that mm-hmm. makes sense. 
it you think about like ads and how you know they're so just on tv they're so repetitive and they must know something about those touch points because they're just like yeah keeping on reinforcing and making their their brand recognizable and yeah. so yeah absolutely and i'd even add to like it's so important to make sure you are uh, consistent with your brand message across those platforms, mm. um, you know, not just on your website, you know, and oftentimes social media can be just as important as a website. Yeah. It can even rank up there with or alongside your web with or underneath your website. Wow. Like if you Google the name of a business, oftentimes it's like the URL and then like their Facebook page or right. their Instagram, right. whatever's like most active. Yeah. Um, so keeping that, you know, consistent, um, whether it's the brand copy or the imagery, it's just so important. You got to keep it, got to keep it the same. Yeah. So if a company doesn't have a website, mm -hmm. does that actually kind of like negatively affect their image a little bit or mm -hmm. make them seem sketchy or untrustworthy? Yeah. I would, I mean, I would say yes. Um, all statistics like lead to that, that, that answer. Yeah. That, yeah. Like you, if you don't have one, um, you know, you don't have that. <clears throat> that comfortable space for people to come on online, uh, mm -hmm. maybe on even on social media to come and like view your brand and and see how you interact with people and you know what your message is about. Right. Yeah, that's so mm -hmm. true. Good. Good to think about. So, as a digital marketing company, we know um, from experience that people are watching our content and they're watching it over the last however many months or years, mm -hmm. and they're trying to gain a better understanding of who we are, how we operate, and you know how how we assist our clients in you know representing their brands and and right you know what what um like how do we assist them um and we realize that like the trust it's built over time and it takes a long time sometimes to like to, to really build that trust and um sometimes that's a hard selling point to tell like business owners that mm -hmm. hey like you need to invest in this thing because it is going to pay itself off yeah. in the future yeah. but there's not there's not like a lot of hard numbers or statistics that can like sell someone on that. You know? Right, so, right. And it is a big investment too, because a new website. It's it's huge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it might be it might be a website that's updated frequently. It might be if we can talk about social media. It's you know it's it's co it's posting content frequently with the same brand message over a long period of time. Right. And you know that is just so important to build your brand over over years and build trust. Yeah. Um, you know, gone are the days when. People just hired you because of hearsay, because of, you mm. know, maybe they saw your ad, obviously, in, like, the newspaper or something. Right. Like it's so important to be, right. you know, out there on the on the channels. That's so true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if someone is watching right now and they're thinking, man, all this time I've needed a website and now I finally realize it, what would be a good step for them, like a next step for them to assess um, mm -hmm. when on the road of getting a website? Yeah, I think... Um, Assess your needs based on, you know, what are you trying to sell? Like, is it a service? Is it a product? Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's so many web platforms out there right now that cater to different types of businesses. Um, you might kind of Google your, your industry and be like, in my industry, what what's a commonly used platform for this? Yeah. Um, or, you know, maybe look at, you know, am I going to be managing this website by myself or do I want to hire it out? Do I want a, an agency to like build it for me creatively and then, you know, right. launch it for me and even manage it over time? Because um, there's a lot of plug and play websites that, you know, they're not they're not bad and they actually might support a business well. And right. they may be doing exactly what you need yeah. and to support your current business model. Um, I think, too, it's important to not... Uh, don't box yourself in like dream big as a business owner and hmm. like you know don't don't start your business um, on a small platform that can't grow with you on the one side you have um, like a small business owner that maybe like a Squarespace website would do just fine for them and right. like that would serve their right. needs and that's all that they need yep. but you're saying that um, yes maybe there are client or there are businesses that, Squarespace or, you know, one of those plug-in websites will work just fine for them. But, like, maybe also assess if you need to invest a little bit more and right. actually right. hire a professional. Right, because right. Maybe to customize and grow To larger. customize, yeah, because mm -hmm. maybe that'll pay itself off and grow your business exponentially yeah. if you have one. Absolutely. That's cool. Yeah, because some, some platforms are, are made to grow larger and hmm. they're made to, you know, handle more traffic, more products, Interesting. Um, and, and that sort of thing. And, and so it is important just, you know, dream big and don't box yourself in. Like make a choice 
for your business that could support you in 10 yeah. years, 20 years and think think down the road. Yeah. Um, we've seen many clients come to us with a business uh, or with a website that doesn't support them right now. Hmm. They made that de- the decision to be on this platform five years ago, even two years ago. Right, because it was easy, and, the easy choice. Right, it was easy to set up. Maybe right. it was, you know, a bunch of templates, easy to plug in your content, Yeah. plug in your media, all great things. Yeah. But then over time, they realize, you know, oh, this web platform isn't great for SEO over time. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't allow me to, to um, it doesn't allow me to uh, customize my content very well. It doesn't allow me to like brand my website very well because yeah. it's very templated. Right. And so you know, yeah, think about what what you want long term. Mm. And if you have questions too, obviously feel free to reach out. Um, but there, you know, too, there's a lot of good articles online. I don't think, um, you know, if it comes from a trustworthy source, that's obviously important. But um, right, but right. You can, you know, you can certainly learn where to start. Yeah. If someone who's watching does have a website, is you know, a business, mm-hmm. a website for their business. Um, and they are like, hmm, like, should I get a new website? Should I look into something different than what I have? I need someone to like assess, um, this and give their professional opinion. Um, what would you say to, to that person? Yeah. I mean, I guess number one, I'd say reach out. Like we, we do want to have conversations with people, um, about their site and we want to make recommendations too that. Um, they're not just going to benefit us in the future. Like we, right. we truly care about creative solutions and business solutions for com- clients. Um, and we are like, you know, we're going to choose something or, or help you choose something um, that's going to benefit you in the next, you know, five, 10, 20 years. That's, yeah. that's our goal that's cool. um, is, is to keep up to on trends of, you know, what web platforms um, are, are updating, you know, uh, frequently. And mm-hmm. so what that can show us is that they are, you know, they're built well going into the future and they're like willing to, to constantly evolve their product to help their clients. Yeah. So, you know, and namely a couple are like, you know, Shopify and WooCommerce are, they're kind of two of the top, you know, customizable, if you will, e-commerce platforms. Nice. And, you know, those are built to grow and they're built to be customized and they're built to, you know, just scale as you're growing, you know, and, and mm. scale really well. Hmm. That's awesome. It's mm-hmm. really cool. I'm currently learning about web design myself from Josh, and so all those names are sounding familiar, but I still get them confused. So if you're confused, reach out to Josh, and he'll be able to answer. So if you want to talk more about building your brand, building your website, and making it look legitimate, um, we would love to connect. So, you know, make sure you reach out, um, reach out through our website, um, you know, click, share, comment, do all the things, and get in touch. Um, Check out some of the websites that Josh and the team have built on our, you know, you can get those links. Yeah. They're really cool. In summary, um, the website is the backbone of your brand. So make sure that you that you have one, number one. Mm-hmm. Number two, choose the right platform, and we can assist with that. Or you can find good resources on where to pick the best platform. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and dream big, you know, make sure you're, you're not, you're not boxing yourself in and you're looking ahead, you're looking ahead 10, 20 years to see like, where do I need to be yeah. and to what level do I want to grow to? Yeah. And whether that's sales or reach or, you that's know, really good. marketing presence. Just yeah. Look ahead. That's wonderful. Awesome. Well, thanks Josh. Yeah. Yeah. That was great.